Hi, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at Monster Palooza 2019 in Pasadena, California, and I have a special guest with me. He's a he's a contemporary British artist, best known to the Soapbox gang for creating Eddie, the mascot for the band Iron Maiden. Uh, that's right. It's 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 Derek Riggs. Hi, Derek. Hello, Flick. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> how's your How's your Monster Palooza so far? It's been very busy. Oh, good, good. Totally and utterly busy. Fantastic. Lots of people, several monsters, <laughs> and a lot of ink. Oh, well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. You're welcome. Okay, so I like art too. Um, I want to be an artist. How did you get started as an artist? I don't really remember. <laughs> I just kept drawing and showing them to people. Eventually, oh. somebody brought one. Were you? Uh, did you go to school? Were you self-taught? I was self-taught. I went to college. Oh. Well, I went to school, right. but they threw me out. Where and I went to college, <laughs> and they threw me out. Oh. And so I got some paintings and started taking them around um, art director's offices, right. and they threw me out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so then um, Iron Maiden saw my pictures, yeah, yeah. and one of them, and picked it up, and that became Eddie and then they threw me out so i've been thrown out of everywhere i've been thrown out of better places than this i've even been thrown out of rock and roll oh jeez that's hard to do it is <laughs> wow. well, what medium what uh, medium do you use to create your original artwork say like for the classic iron maiden album covers well they're drawn on illustration board All right. which is like hardboard okay and they're drawn in um, watercolor. Oh. It's a kind of watercolor that has a white base called gouache. Okay. Um, later on, um, when I was doing Somewhere in Time, right. um, I did acrylic for that one. Okay. And oh. I tried messing around with oils, but they don't really work for illustration because they take too long to dry. Oh, that makes sense. The, the character of Eddie is so iconic. What were your influences when you, what were you thinking when you created them? I was trying to make record covers All right. for rock and roll. Because in the 1970s, rock and roll record covers were rubbish. <laughs> they were stupid looking. Yeah, yeah. And so I thought of making something with a bit more grr. <laughs> so I did. I was, Eddie is really a symbol. Right. for um, urban decay oh. and wasted youth. Okay. He was, I did a, a series of pictures right. um, at that time using different ideas like that. And Eddie was the one that caught on. Okay. Well, how big are the originals? About the same size as the reproduction. Oh, all right. Well, the like seven, a one to one. The seven inch one, the early seven inch singles were right. seven and a quarter okay. inches. Oh. Um, the album covers were 13 and a half okay. inches square um, or 13 by, oh God, what is it, 24, 25 inches right. for a gatefold uh, cover. Gable, gable sleeve, yeah. And it wasn't until later on I started doing them bigger. Um, somewhere in time right. is 15 inches by 32 inches, I think. Well, how long does it take to do something that, like that big? It's not the size, it's the complexity. That's what I told you. <laughs> well, I almost got in trouble with that joke. <laughs> it's not the size, but it's the complexity. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, it's the complexity. <laughs> You're bad. I, I like know. It. <laughs> I like it. Oh, wow. um, so, uh, somewhere in time um, took two and a half months. Oh, wow. Whereas Number of the Beast right. took two days. Oh, oh, wow. Without sleep. I All pulled right. a 48-hour week in two days in order to get the job done oh. on time. Okay, so Eddie is kind of uh, horrifying, if I must say so. Are you a horror fan? Uh, no, I prefer science fiction. Oh. I always found horror a bit slow and boring and predictable. Okay. All right. Um, but I, I, like I said, Eddie wasn't really horror. No, no, Eddie was decay. a symbol 
The streets in the background of the first album are the streets I lived in at that time. Oh, all right. Later on, I moved to Killers. Uh, that was the second Iron Maiden album. Uh -huh. And the buildings in the background of that are a block of flats called Etchingham Court that I used oh, yeah. to live in. Oh. And that was all decrepit and falling down. Yes. So, you know, it's... What's but that was my environment that I lived in. All right. What's your favorite, uh, like one of your favorite science fiction shows? Um, I'm currently watching Farscape. Right. And recently I've just finished... Puppets. Yeah, I've been binge watching Babylon 5. You've got some good taste. And uh, I went through all the Star Treks over and over again and got, got I bored. I knew I and, liked you. And, <laughs> you really uh, do. And there was another one I was watching as well, but I can't remember what that was. How about Doctor Who? Yeah, I like Doctor Who. Who's your favorite doctor? I don't know. I like Patrick Troughton. Right. He was the one with the top hat that played a flute. I think he was the second doctor. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so, what are you working on now? Um, nothing. I'm making synthesizer music. Really? Um, okay. And try, I'm going to start a website for it soon. Okay, we'll keep um, an eye out for it. Yeah, and I recently finished that painting, which was for the Iron Maidens, Ooh. which which is scary. Female cover band. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they are a female, all female cover band for Iron Maidens. That's awesome. And this um, is the Wicked Witch of the North <laughs> from the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah, right. oh wow. <laughs> I, I entitled the painting The Bitch Is Back, <laughs> but uh, I don't know what they're going to call the album, you know. I like that. Probably Fluffy Girls Play Rock or something like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jeez, well, thanks for talking to us, Derek. Thank you. Oh, yeah. uh, and, uh, let's see who else we get to scare up at the Monster Palooza <laughs> 2019. Oh. Uh, do, you ever, uh, do you ever take commissions? Uh, yeah, sometimes. I love my portrait painting. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Do you oh. have a lot of purple paint? It's I've got be, tons of purple paint. It's going to be in the And nude. I just don't know what to do with any of it. It's going to be in the uh, nude. I was, yeah. Well, right. I can handle that. All right. I'm an artist. All right. I'm versed in anatomy of many creatures. You're calling me a creature? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, can I get a hug? Can I get a hug? All right. Let's have a hug. Whoa. <laughs> I knew I liked you. <laughs> Star Trek? Yeah. yeah.